That's a good beer. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm your host, bringing you the Ab Lewis Most Beer Knowledge I could probably believe in him. Let's just skip the intro today. So today's beer, I found right after work today. I wanted something fancy, I wanted something different. So let me show you what it is. This bad boy right here is the Claymore Scotch Ale from the Great Divide Brewing Company. This beer comes in at a whopping 7.7% ABV with a 21 IBU rating. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting because if you actually look at the details on it, it's like a kilt in the background with a little knight and a sword. So that's pretty neat. Um, this company was started in 1994 by a man named Brian Dunn. So he spent about five years overseas farming and getting good drinks and food. So he decided to come back and start his brewery in Denver, Colorado. And there's two locations now which you can both find there. Great Divide, they've actually won multiple, multiple awards for many of their beers, as well as 14 spots on Beer Advocate's top-rated beer list. So that being said, I'm ready to try this beer. All right, let's go ahead and pour this sucker. Uh, glassware for this, just a pint glass is good. It doesn't smell half bad. Let's, let's see how she looks in the, in, the, in the glass. Cue the music. Food pairings with this, you can do... Uh, Pot roast, lamb chops, grilled sweet potatoes. Uh, another one would be bourbon bread pudding. That's a thing. I don't know what it is, but that is a thing. That's dark. So at first glance, it literally just looks like Coke. It looks like uncarbonated flat coke but if you hold it to the light see if i can get it maybe to the camera no you can't even if you hold it directly through the light you can actually see the amber kind of like that that red ale uh, scotch ale color and it's actually pretty 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 less talky more tasty let's let's uh let's cheers that's a good beer that's actually surprising. So 7.7, .7, like I said, for the ABV, that's not that strong at all. It does not taste strong. It tastes very smoky, very malty. Uh, it's got a really good aftertaste. It settles. It's warming. So I would not recommend this beer like right now in the summertime. I would definitely recommend this around a fireplace uh, after a long day and you're trying to heat up. This is very good beer, though. I'm taking another sip right now. Very good. That's a good beer. So overall rating for this beer, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm kind of disappointed in the amount of carbonation. Just there was not really any, uh, no head in this thing or not. So that's really all I got, though. Um, if you're going to drink, be safe. Don't get hurt. Tune in next time for <coughs> Drink With Me, the beer kind of sort of dirt. Be sure to like, subscribe. I'm going to share this stuff everywhere. So thanks for supporting already. Cheers.